people usually want to know how to do is they want to know every single tool and what it does. And I'm not going to cover that. What I'm going to do instead is do it by task. So in this case, we're going to go in and say that, you know, you have a task and you want to remove blemishes. That's the one we're going to start with. Now, there are several ways to do this, but the way that I like to remove blemishes the most is using the spot healing brush. That's the spot healing brush on your tool panel. And when you bring it over, you will normally have a circle that's your brush. Now, by the way, I'm working with a Wacom tablet. I'm working with an Intuos 5. And while you can do what we're going to do with a mouse or a trackball or trackpad, I highly recommend a tablet for Photoshop work. It's just going to make your life easier and you're going to benefit from it every, every time you use Photoshop. And even their lowest price $50 tablet is better than your most expensive mouse you can buy. So get a tablet. Now the next thing is when you bring this tool over to Photoshop and you're just opening Photoshop for the first time, you're going to be on what's called the background and we're going to work on layers in just a moment. But you're going to be on the background and so therefore any changes you make, you're making them to the actual image. Now the circle that you get will either be a circle or it will be like a, a set of crosshairs like that. That's because I have the caps locked down. So if you don't have the circle, make sure your caps lock is off so you can get the circle. Now the circle itself can be at your brush size. It can be hard, it can be soft. I normally like to work with a very soft brush. So we can go ahead and soften this up so that we have a nice soft brush to work with. And all I did was just click on this to get to the brush size, which can make it smaller or larger and softer or harder. So I like a soft brush to work with. Now you can also, I said I would show you keyboard shortcuts. You can also make your brush bigger and smaller if you have bracket keys on your keyboard. So on the US keyboards, that would be next to the letter P. The open bracket makes it smaller, closed bracket makes it larger. So now that I've got this, I'm just going to go ahead and what blemishes do I want to get rid of? I want to get rid of the pimples and things that you probably wouldn't notice when you saw the person. And also the things that wouldn't be there maybe in a week if it's a pimple especially. Now I am going to leave things like freckles because that's her face. That's the way her face normally looks and she probably likes her freckles. So when you're deciding what to get rid of, you're typically getting rid of the things that are temporary on the person, like a bruise or a scar that you know will ultimately heal, but didn't heal before you took the photo. Or things that you know you don't notice when you're looking at the person in person. Now, as you can see, I'm either clicking or painting with this tool to remove these things. And I just personally don't like necklines, so I'm just removing those even though everyone has them. Okay, so this is the way this tool works, and again, you will decide between you and your client or just you what to get rid of, but this is one quick way to get rid of blemishes. Just using the spot healing brush, it's my favorite way to do it because it doesn't require you to do anything extra. You don't have to sample anything, you don't have to guess, you just start painting with this tool and it uses the surrounding pixels to make the adjustment. So it used all the skin around that, uh, that um, particular blemish to start to get rid of the blemish. Okay, so that's number one, uh, how to remove blemishes. Number two, um, and by the way, it's not just blemishes, maybe you wanna get rid of some stray hairs here, which I do want to get rid of. Number two is 